Many of you are familiar about the exciting, dramatic rescue of a whole team of boys that have been stuck for many weeks in a cave in Thailand. We're here today with Uzi Hanouni, the founder and CEO of Max Tech Networks, based out of Israel, who recently took part in support of this effort. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Tell us a little bit about the scene when you and your team arrived there in Thailand. What was it like? When uh, our people arrived to Thailand and they saw the mess in the cave, actually they couldn't communicate with the team inside the cave, two kilometers inside, and they couldn't co communicate uh, at least one mile, one and a half mile inside the cave. They couldn't communicate with no any other equipment. So we felt uh, that our technology can make the difference. And when they enter into the cave with our radios, this is what makes this is what makes them talk and and uh, able to do the uh, logistic and uh, manage and bring the communication from the entrance of the cave to the critical point inside the cave. Share with us a little bit about the type of technology that was on scene when you arrived. You said there was no way to communicate in the cave. What exactly did they have available to them? Okay, so they used the regular uh, two-way radio. And they thought that two-way radio can work in, in inside the cave, but you know, you and I know, and our audience know that two-way radio need line of sight. Without line of sight, they cannot communicate. And inside the cave, it's a very, very complicated cave with a lot of uh, turns and walls and things that break the communication. And and communication fails there. The, and when we came with our technology, we showed them that communication can pass through those obstacles, and and this is what we did. So your technology overcomes line of sight issues, and it provides voice, data, and video communication. Tell me about that. Yes, you need to be very, very sophisticated with your, uh, uh, with your equipment to provide real-time critical voice and video communication. Mm -hmm. and uh, in situation like a uh, rescue life, because because you cannot you know uh, have a, a you know a long latency or not knowing where the communication coming and when it comes, so so you need to be very very flexible and uh, agile to to um, uh, to and, and, and you need to be very smart in your in your algorithm to to do that in real time in a very, very low latency, you know, to address the immediate need of the first responders, which is to talk, to transmit their voice from one point to another. This is what we try to do. Uzi, congratulations. We're so grateful for you and your company and what you did to help rescue that Thai soccer team. Thank you so much for participating in this call. We appreciate you very much. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.